Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and wanted to record this video on a few search operators or a few terms we can use in Google to actually refine and get more information and be able to kind of a, a, a search better in Google to help with our SEO efforts or just any search in general. Um, so I, I created a list of a few of the search operators and uh, there, there's quite a few more but these are the ones we use quite often and so I wanted to go over them pretty quickly. Um, the order is, is, there's no particular order and uh, we can just start right now. Okay. So the first one is the site colon. What the site colon basically does is lets you search uh, within a specific domain or, or a subdomain. So uh, what I would do, let's say I want to search for the, um, let's say I want to search for a, a, a PPC page. Okay. So I would type in my, my keyword and then I would type in site colon and I'll type in the domain. Let's say SEO, or actually it's not SEO Moz anymore, it's Moz. Okay. So now I'm just looking in the search for all the pages that have some re relation to PPC. Um, so you can see you can filter down. There's 6,700 pages for that. Um, and, and that's a, you know, basically what's, what site colon does. It searches within the domain itself. Very, very useful. We use it very often. Okay. Uh, the next uh, search operator we use is file type. Same idea, uh, file type uh, refines your search within a specific file. So if I'm looking for, let's say, just the PDF, um, and let's say our topic is, um, let's say, basketball. Okay, so I'm going to look for PDFs that are related to basketball. So you can see that the search results are all just PDFs. You know, perfect, perfect example. Um, so, you know, very, very straightforward. You can do it for text files or documents, um, you know, and, and uh, other sorts. So PDF is really the one we search quite, quite more often. Um, the next one in turn is in title. What that means is it refines the search based on the title tag, this line right here, the clickable link or the title tag of the specific pages and, and then therefore you can find very specific things. So again, let's let's do this. Let's go <clears throat> let's search and use multiple search operators. Let's search within mods.com and then we'll search in title um, let's say uh, PPC tips and uh, if there's multiple uh, words you need to include quotes. So that's another tip. So it knows not so it doesn't search in title just PPC and then on the side tips, you want to search in the title the term exactly PPC tips, okay? And you see in uh, there's only one result because exactly in this manner PPC tips there's only one one result for it. So you know you, you can kind of think of how you can use it and what better and and uh, uh, stuff like that. So very very nice tool uh, the in title very nice search operator. Okay. Uh, the next one is cache. Um, basically, what cache does is it lets you uh, s a a see what the latest page that Google has searched for, see what uh, was read, and especially see when it was read. Okay, so if I type in cache, and I can type in uh, the exact page. So if I type in a domain name, it'll be just the actual home page. So let's say we want to um, go to our domain, and let's say we want to see how, when the last time the our about us page was indexed. So I'm going to take the entire URL, type in cache colon without any spaces, and I'm going to look at, at this. So it, it's going to redirect me to the cache page, and it says, here's the page, and it was read last time on September 12, 2013, which was basically uh, a week or almost a week and a half ago. Um, there's nothing here, for example. Uh, because of some coding issue, but let me show you a, a better example for, let's say, yahoo.com. Okay. So let's do this. Go back to Google. Cache yahoo.com. And you'll be able to see exactly how the page looked when it was last read. Okay, perfect. So uh, the next thing we want we want to do, and I wrote file that twice, Okay, uh, is the define. So define is really just more for, for using a dictionary information. Uh, I included it not for SEO purposes, really, but just, you know, every time um, you want to know so, some additional information, you use the define. So define 
um, moon, you know, any any kind of term. They'll just give you the, the dictionary exp explanation or, or definition. Uh, pretty pretty straightforward. Okay. Uh, the next one in turn is in URL. So just like we use the in title tag, we want to search and refine our search based on the U if a specific term is in our URL. So let's use the same SEO Moslem. Okay. And we'll type in in URL colon and then PPC. So I want to see all the the pages that have the word PPC in the URL, right here, right here, right here, and on and on. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Um, let's go on to the next one. So uh, sort by date is not a, a term you search, but it's a very useful tool if you go to the search tools right here. So um, let's say you know you can search for any term you want in this in the search box. You go to search tools. You can filter by Time. When was the, the post? Uh, when was the page posted? So if you want to see things that just came out right now, you want to see your competitors mentioned, or you want to see some news that, or, or you're looking for some time sensitive thing that came out right now or within a certain range, maybe last year, you can do it. So let's search what came out within uh, Moz.com with the PPC in the last week. And nothing did. So they, they basically haven't written or haven't posted anything yet. Let's go to the last month. And you can see the last month they have these four articles. Very, very useful. Now, uh, if we're already here, let's go on to the next thing, which is um, let's go back to the search results. Okay. And you also have, uh, you can sort by relevance. You can sort, let's, let's go back to any time right here. And um, okay, so let's go on to the next one. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. So uh, this is the next comment we wanted to go. So uh, the next kind of sorting again is not an operator, but it's something very useful, which is actually searching. Not all. It's not always good to search just in Google.com in the main universal search. It's good to actually refine things by what you're looking for. So if you're looking for blog posts, not just websites or news sites. You're looking for a blog site that talks about uh, uh, PPC, and of course, I'll, I'll take away uh, site moz.com. Um, then you can find actual blogs that talk about it, or actual news sites, or shopping sites, or maps, or blah 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 blah. Okay, so you, you understand what that is. Um, the next thing is the related tag. Um, I wanted to, to add it. Sometimes it works good. Sometimes it doesn't. So uh, I'll still add it. So let's say you're looking for uh, a specific a tool or a website, and you want to see other websites that are related to that same topic. So let's say um, I want to see uh, uh, websites that are related to one tool of, of Moz.com, follow along. Um, so actually, it didn't find anything. Let's, let's just go to another one, maybe to Alexa. OK? Um, Okay, so so it, it doesn't work now. So I I guess oh because probably we're in the blogs. Let's go back to the web, and you can see here. Let's go back to follow along. I apologize for that. Trying to run rush too fast though sometimes. So again, uh, if I search for a related website that's similar to somewhat similar to a topic of the website we searched follow along, you can see all of these other ones. So Twitter search. It understands it's a Twitter tool. So it actually worked pretty good in, in this case. Sometimes it works good, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and, and yeah. Uh, so the next thing is the search tools, which we already went over regarding the time. And uh, I just wanted to include um, two more things to, to the end of this video. So number one is uh, don't be shy to use multiple uh, search operators at once if you really want to refine your results. So you might search again, maybe moz.com, uh, and then also maybe file type, uh, PDF, and, and then uh, and then maybe also by time. So again, you can use one, two, three, four. You can use multiple search operators, and they work really good for very specific uh, web research. Okay. And then the the last thing I wanted to share before the end of this video is another tip. It's actually a tip for image search. Um, and, and basically, what I wanted to show is this great tool that actually searches for uh, a, a, for images, a, which is an image search. You can basically search, instead of using text, you can actually use an image to search for related images. So 
the way we like to use it, for example, is let's say we own, let's say this is our website, yahoo.com and we own this picture. So if we create a unique picture and it's our, it's the rights of our company, it, it's our picture, and we don't want other people using it. So we can actually right click on it, copy the image location, so the actual image, you can see right here, and then go to the search box right here. Let's empty the search box in Google Images. Click on the, the camera icon and do this and just paste the URL of the image. So it'll search and see all the places online that this image uh, has been specified and also things that kind of look in similar, maybe similar in colors or, or related. So uh, the way we use it is the clients of ours that we have, uh, that, that have a lot of images, what we do is every now and then we search for uh, their images and we actually find websites that use that, those images uh, rightfully, or, sorry, not not rightfully. So without permission, and we either, uh, depending on the client, we either ask them to remove it because it's not their right to use it, or uh, for SEO purposes, or for just mentions, or for some traffic, we ask the people to actually give us the attribution, give us the the the, the okay that or the mention that they use our image. So uh, maybe the image would be uh, below by this and this site, and it would be clickable. So we'd get. Some some search engine power, but mostly the the actual acknowledgement that we spent our time to to use to to create this image and and website X is actually using it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this um, video on the search operators. That one tip with the image a, a search and uh, let me know if you have any questions. We can go in detail. We'll be happy to answer any comments. Uh, thank you very much.